Lady Charmaine, and my guest today has been in film and television shows such as Independence Day, Whiplash, CSI, and Grey's Anatomy. And he's here today to talk about his role as Mr. Kager Lee in the Oscar-nominated Martin Luther King Jr. biopic, Selma. Help me welcome Mr. Henry G. Sanders to the show. Welcome to the show. Uh, thank you. Well, first I want to say bravo, bravo for your performance as Mr. Kager Lee. It was absolutely phenomenal so again congratulations on your on your role thank you thank you really appreciate it well the movie won a golden globe for a best song glory from legend and and also common and has been nominated for best picture congratulations on the nomination but first i want to begin i read something that was very interesting regarding you you served our country and not only did you serve our country you served nine years as a field communications expert while serving two duty tours in germany and two in vietnam and all the while you want a Purple Heart and a Combat Infantry Badge. And with all that being said, Mr. Saunders, how did you become an actor? I pretty much backed into it. <laughs> I uh, uh, came to Los Angeles to publish a novel uh, that I had written while I was in the service, and I I was at Valley College, and there was a sign uh, that said that I could use my GI Bill to go to acting school, and one of the guys there that I knew uh, said, why don't you take it up? And Uncle Sam paid for me to go to uh, to acting school. And it was something that I'd never thought about before. And in fact, at 27 years old, I saw my first play. Uh, and that inspired me so to want to dive into it and uh, and be a part of it. And speaking of your first play, you had the opportunity to perform in the meeting as Martin Luther King. So in many ways, this brings you full circle with Selma. Yes. <laughs> yes, it does. Uh, uh, it was called The Meeting, and it was uh, written by Jeff Stetson. And it was the meeting that never happened between Martin and uh, uh, Malcolm X. Mm. So it was really a good piece. Uh, Jeff's really a great writer. Now, how did you land the role as Kager Lee for the movie Selma? Uh, I auditioned for it. I, I got a call that uh, they were doing this film called Selma, and I went in and auditioned and got a call later on to go in and uh, meet, uh, well, through Skype, which was my first time doing Skype, but uh, to meet uh, Ava. Uh, uh, she was in Atlanta, so I had an opportunity to talk. Okay, we're back. We just got briefly disconnected, but we are still on the line with Miss with Mr. Saunders. Thank you so much. Uh, well, I auditioned for it. I went over to Paramount and auditioned for it, and uh, I got a call to go uh, meet with Ava uh, over Skype, which I had never done before. And uh, we talked about the role, and initially she was uh, a little concerned uh, about my age, uh, playing an 82-year-old. But, I, you know, apparently she thought about it a little bit and said, it's fine, you know. So gave her the best old man I could. And I was surprised to find out that you were actually younger than that because you did look like you were 82 years old, your, your body, your mannerisms, everything. And so when I saw how old you were, you did an exceptional job playing an 82-year-old man. And I want to talk about what was, oh. it, what was it like for you uh, working with Oprah Winfrey, David Oyelowo, and also Ava DuVernay in this, I mean, monumentous moment that really moved our country forward in the voting rights for African Americans and to work with these powerhouses? Uh, it was a great experience for me. Uh, Ava is such a wonderful, giving uh, director, and for an actor, I call her, you know, an actor's dream. Uh, she was prepared. She knew what she was doing. Uh, she knows how to work with actors. Uh, David was so giving. I mean, it, it, just looking into his eyes, you knew that you could trust that he was going to be there for you. Mm. Uh, didn't I mean I, I? You know, we all watched Oprah through the years, and to be in her company was wonderful. Uh, there, and one scene, I was supposed to fall back on her uh, uh, and knock her down, but I'm a little hesitant about doing that. But the stunt people came in, and uh, she and I agreed that we could do this, and we didn't need stunt people to. Uh, to do the little stunt. So it was great. I mean, everybody was wonderful. It was such a pleasure to be on this. 
And again, okay, you lived during the time of Dr. Martin Luther King, so I'm sure you saw him on television, the speeches. You were definitely aware of Selma. You saw what was happening in the streets in real life, and now you're able to be in a movie that depicts everything that happened. What impact did Dr. Martin Luther King have on you? Uh, well, you know, I came in a lot later. I, I was in the service from 60 to 69, and during that period I was in uh, Vietnam. Mm. So I didn't didn't have really any first hand information. Uh the Armed Forces Radio over there didn't air uh, a lot of the things that were going on in the States and the only information that we we got was from young guys coming over saying this is happening over there. And when I left uh Houston and from Houston, they were just starting to do sit ins and then I was gone. Uh so this for me, this project for me was inspiring. It was enlightening. I learned a lot. It was such a pleasure to work with the uh, the people that were in the cast. I mean, everybody was so wonderful. Uh, I just had a blast, and I, you know, and I tell people this was my civil rights movement. Mm-hmm. I, you know, this was how I participated, and this piece will go on for a long time. And before we go, I just want you to tell the people why should they go and see the movie this weekend? Uh, you'll get a bit of history, and hopefully it will change hearts and minds. I mean, we there's uh, some similarities between what happened then and what's going on now, and hopefully that it'll be something that will help heal what's going on now. Thank you so much, Mr. Lee. It it was truly a pleasure talking with you because your role really impacted us, the emotion of when your grandson was killed. It was so powerful. So I just want to say, I said, Mr. Lee, Mr. Saunders, see, your your role is in my mind. (laughs) So I just, again, want to say thank you so much and remind everyone to go and see Selma tonight, make it number one at the box office this weekend and celebrate in the marches that are going on around the country in commemoration of Dr. Martin Luther King. Again, thank you so much. Thank you.